No, I'm kidding. It's not really a mess. I'm working on shipping out some gifts. I wrapped a few things. It felt nice to wrap a few things. I love wrapping things. So I gotta get these in the mail today. If they have even a shot of getting there by Christmas. But honestly, I'm kind of in the camp where Hey, if it arrives sometime between Christmas and New Year's, that's fine too, because it's still the festive time. So I'm going to put these in the boxes and get them ready to, to go. Super cute, right? And I always upcycle bows. Upcycle? No, that's not the right word. Recycle. So these are bows that just were in my holiday bins. And I still, yes, I still have the green holiday bins <laughs> with all the cards and bows and tissue paper because you know I just I love this stuff I'm realizing I didn't actually say good morning to you I just started talking it's uh today's the day this is not flattering light <laughs> it's okay today is the day and I'm so excited because today is the first day of almost 10 full days with my kids almost um, and I'm so excited. I don't really know what that's going to mean for vlog. I'm going to continue posting, but I'm not really sure what my videos are going to look like. Uh, cause I, yeah. As much as they love being on the camera, um, and as much as you guys love seeing them, I just, I'm, I've been trying to be it's like even more selective about when I show them and how frequently I do it just feels like as they're starting to get older now that feels really important whereas when they were little babies it was like okay here's my cute baby this is just my own personal thoughts everybody has their own thoughts about sharing children on you know in their videos um I just follow my gut with that because my mommy instincts usually do not steer me wrong and my gut is saying less is better with that in particular so I don't know what kind of content we're gonna have in the next week but we'll figure something out maybe we'll do another um tea talk day and and such okay I'm gonna wrap these things up and then I gotta get in the gym I got my yoga in already I'm excited anybody else sign up for breathe or is it breath I think it's breath it's with no E at the end, so yeah, it's breath. The Yoga with Adrian January program. You should, it's free, and it's all new content from her every day. Go do it, I'll put a link to it. You should do it, I'm gonna do it, of course. I, would, I do her calendar every day of every month, but I'm excited for, for breath because it's all new. Yay. Anybody else love a good Trader Joe's card? There's cute and they're reasonably priced for cards can get really expensive lately um but they're always cute like look, look how cute they are totally last minute in this but teacher gifts used to give like actual gifts but i've heard from so many teachers that they, they really just want gift cards <laughs> so i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but teachers they get a lot of stuff gift cards are nice Oh man, this morning's already getting away from me, but you know what? We're gonna push through. I wanted to, uh, oh no, I didn't want to show you my grocery list. I wanted to show you the other two plates that I ordered. I don't think they're available anymore, but um, these are the other two plates to complete the little set that I got for my kids from Pottery Barn Kids, the Melanie Mickey stuff. I mean, come on, too cute. I think they were like $3 on sale. They were so cute, and then, this is thing I totally bought for me. And I totally bought it for me because I saw it a long time ago, some variation of this on Christopher Allen's channel. And uh, you guys know I love building fires and I really like having the long matches to get to the back to light the kindling in the back. So I splurged and bought myself this really beautiful, like very unusual, um, cloche match thing. And um, so they come out the bottom and it has a little cork and then it has the uh, ignition strip at the back. I thought that was kind of a nice statement piece. If you're gonna have matches out, and I always put my matches way out of reach of the kids, I'll have it up 
on one of the bookshelves, probably for now, up in the uh, the built-in bookshelves in the, in the family room. Actually, let's do that together. I think maybe it's something I even put on the mantle at some point, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with my Christmas mantle vibe right now. So they can't, they can't even reach back here at the moment, but just out of an abundance of caution. Let's see. Yes! Oh my God, I love it, it's beautiful. It's such a, like an odd thing to have matches in a, like a beautiful glass cloche, but I really like it. I am all sorts of red. I don't have time to shower. I still haven't done my mood to move it yet today. Just didn't have time to squeeze it in. I don't know when I'm going to squeeze it in the rest of the day, but I will make it happen because it's the third day, last, to last day of the program and it's the last full body sculpt day. And I haven't missed a day yet. I'm not going to miss a day. If I have to do it like 10 o'clock at night, I'm going to do it at 10 o'clock at night. Anyway, that ride was so much fun. It was a Leanne Hainsby ride, um, festive one. Probably the last live ride I'll do of this year, just with mommy time and holiday season. If I can squeeze one in, I'll see if I can, but I'm gonna have to do all my rides when they're, when they're sleeping, which is perfectly fine with me. And I think a lot of the live classes are canceled, or like not on for the holiday couple, next couple of weeks anyway. I don't really know though, I'm new to this. But I was so close to hitting a, a personal best. I was a one point, I don't know what they're called, kilojoule, is that, is that a thing? I was one kilojoule, one, away. And I was like, you know, at the, if you ride on Peloton, you know there's always a minute at the end where they're not um, pushing anymore. It's like their cool down minute. And I was pushing so hard through the cool down minute because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just one point away. I didn't make it. There's plenty of opportunities PR, PR'd so many times because I'm so new to this that I'm getting better and better. Like I'm getting more endurance and stronger and oh boy, trying to pour and talk. And I knew that was going to fail. And there's not enough room for my cream. I'm rushing. I'm trying to do too many things at once. So I'll show you what I'm doing and talk while I'm doing it. How about that? So this is what happened. I poured the tea. I got to run to UPS. I don't know how long of a line there's going to be to mail these things out and check my mailbox. If you're ever curious about what my public mailing address is, at a, it's at a UPS store. It's not actually a P.O. box. It's a UPS store box. Because um, I get people concerned that I'm like sharing my real address whenever I show those packages. I'm not, you guys. Um, but thank you for your concern. Look at that tea latte. Perfect recovery <laughs> drink, right? This is, this seems healthy. Anyway, for those of you who have joined me on these, these live rides these past few weeks, thank you so much. It's been so much fun and I so appreciate it. Like I can feel your energy. I know that seems hokey, but when we're like high-fiving and stuff, it gives me such a boost. So thank you. And I will be back in the new year riding live for sure. Um, but yeah. And I'm going to be writing between now and then, too. But just not the live classes. I just don't think the timing's going to work out for that. All right, we're going to go to UPS. We're going to run to the store. And then we're going to drop off a few more of the, uh, the, uh, the gifts for the administration at school. I need to drop those off. Then we got to get Winnie out. See what kind of time we have left. Make lunch half day for both kids. So I'm so excited. Good job taking it easy for all us sinners when he's good at that. Okay, if you know what line that movie comes from, bonus points for you. Y'all, send me some mail. Apparently, I offend people when I say y'all. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know. I'm just talking. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm not trying to pretend I'm somebody I'm not. I'm just talking. I'll try not to say y'all, <laughs> add to the list of things that I can't say on the internet for whatever ridiculous reason. Okay, I went to my mailbox. We'll open the mail later. Ashley Shelley sent me something, and I got a few cards and a really fun looking letter that I'm super excited to open, so we'll do that later because I'm on a time crunch. I think I can get this all put away, get Winnie out for her full walk, and do my made to move it sculpt and still have time to make the lunch and pick up the children. I 
think, because I'm cruising. This is kind of all the usual stuff. Let me show you the interesting things I bought. Oh, I got these cupcakes for the kids. This is special. It's winter break now. Treat. Aren't they cute? From Whole Foods Bakery. They do nice things. Oh, that's normal. I bought myself some flowers. Which were the value bouquets. I bought two of those. What else is out of the ordinary? Uh, oh, I got a whole bunch of bottles of champagne to give as gifts to my family. Just giving boots this year, apparently. So, if you're somehow related to me, you're getting champagne. Um, or a gift card. Those are the things. Or champagne and a gift card. I'm not sure. Then, they had my one of my favorite plants is the Christmas cactus. And they had them... Oh, this is super cute. Four... For four dollars. I don't know why I said four so many times. Four dollars in a really nice pot. So I bought these for me. This is like a gift for me day. The match cloche and now the plants. But four dollars. Come on, I couldn't resist. So I got this one to go on my little window of joy here in the kitchen because it's a bit shorter. And I got this one to accompany my other Christmas cactus up in my room. I want another plant for my room. I might even put this in the bathroom. I feel like it would like the bathroom. I have a skylight in there. Got a nice humidity level. And then I, this was a little more expensive probably because of the pot. I could not resist. <laughs> Look at this gnome. Oh my gosh, I can't. I'm going to put him on the window of joy as well. So those are the things. Everything else is just like groceries. And I feel like we've shown the groceries a bunch now in Vlogmas. So I'm going to put this stuff away. Get little one out for a walk. We are crunching it today. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I haven't even had any coffee. I'm just like adrenaline, man. Y'all. No, don't say y'all. <laughs> okay, all right. You guys, women owned cactus. Is that a real thing? Wim okay. Hey, y'all. It's, it's been a bit of a day. It's been a bit of a day so much so that I'm wearing pajama pants. It's like o'clock. These are Hannah, actually Hannah Anderson. They make pajamas for adults. Did you know that? I bought these a few years ago when I got matching ones for Cece. It like matches some of her, some of her PJs from that year. And actually Donnie's wearing them this year. So yeah, I just made myself a particularly massive cup of hot chocolate with an exorbitant amount of marshmallows in it because it's that's again going on with the theme but I wanted to just have those things right now feel a little cozy inside and out um I'll just share something with you because I think so often we just see the highlight reel of everything on social media and that includes parenting I make it a, like I'm very consciously aware of my attitude and my voice and my words and my actions around my children, but I'm human. And sometimes they push me and sometimes, sometimes I lose my patience. And that was one of those moments today. Donnie was just really, really, really not wanting to cooperate with coming home from school. Like getting, I couldn't get him buckled into his car seat. He just did not want to be in his seat. He did not want to, I think he wanted to go home. I know he wanted to go home. As long as we were home, he was so happy to be home. But he was just having one of those moments where he's like, I don't want to do this. And I was like, well, we have to. Um, so we can leave school and go home. And I lost my temper, which I don't do very often at all. But I'm not a perfect parent by any stretch of the imagination. And I regretted losing my temper, temper. And losing my temper for me with my kids looks like, like I usually use this kind of voice around them. Like I try to keep my voice very calm and not too loud and my language very soft, um, firm, but you know, um, with um, love and kindness. And, and I just had to, I just had to be a little bit louder and be a little bit firmer in that moment more than I wanted to be, because I didn't know. It was like 10, 15 minutes. I didn't know how to get us out of there. And I just, 
I ran through all my patients and I just had to get us home. Um, and I felt, I felt bad about having to raise my voice a little bit and having to be f more firm and more direct to get him in his seat to go home. But at the end of the day, that's what I had to do and it worked to get us home. It's not something that I, I want to do all the time, but um, I apologized to him and to Cece after all was said and done and we were all safely buckled in and on our drive home. And when we got home and, and I held them both and I said, look, I'm sorry, I did not mean to lose my temper like that, but I lost my patience and we had to get home. Um, but I am sorry because that was not, you know, that was not how I wanted to, to, be, to react in that situation. And they accepted that and everybody was fine. The thing with little kids is they just move past things so quickly. But I know that they, they have a lasting impact. So I'm very aware of that too. While it seems like they can brush things off when they happen, um, it's also important to know that little things can hang on to you for your whole lives <laughs> from childhood. And I'm very aware of that too. So uh, I think apologizing to my children is something that's really important to me because I mess up. I do. I try really hard, but I mess up because I'm human. But I apologize, and to me, the apology is such an important lesson for me and for them. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that today with you. Um, Cause yeah, I don't, I don't have it all figured out, not even remotely. I thought we'd go through this mail together and then I'm gonna wrap up this video. So, Ashley Shelley. Oh, I didn't bring any scissors in. Sent me something. If you don't know who Ashley Shelley is, first of all, she's a sweetheart. And second of all, she has an amazing planner brand that she has made herself. There's Sour Patch Kids in there. One really large Sour Patch Kid. But, uh, she wrote me a note. Okay, let's see. Huh. She has some new things to share. A little self-care jour journal that she says she's testing out. Um, and she might add to her shop soon, so I don't know how much of this she wants me to share with you. Oh, but it's just, it's so sweet. A little prompt every day. What feeling do I want to create today? Positive affirmations and what self-care activity do I want to do just for me today? This is beautiful. I think you should ask, add this to your show. Ashley, if you're, watch, if you're watching, I think you should. I think that's beautiful. Make a really nice gift. And it's a little late for stocking stuffers now, but it'll be a really nice gift. And then here's the Create Your Best Days. It's a petite planner she made. Ooh. Sorry, I have to be a little bit quiet because Donnie, who desperately, let's be honest, the main reason he had such a fit was because he was exhausted. He really needs this nap time. So do we all. Um, what an interesting material. I don't know how to describe this. It's like soft. It almost feels like lambskin. That sounds awful. But do you, if you know what that feels, that material is like lambskin gloves. Yeah, but that's what it feels. I'm sure it's not lambskin, but that's what it feels like. That's how soft it is. Got a little pocket there. A note from Ashley, 2021 Inspiration Board, Favorite Meal Ideas, Planning Overview, Holidays. Beautiful. So this is, I don't know if this is going to be blown out because I'm in front of the window, but this is very typical of her, her planner setups. Um, I haven't looked, obviously I just opened it, so I haven't looked at it in depth, but cute. Ashley, this is beautiful. What a beautiful book. Monthly Word with um, a weekly horizontal weekly spread, and then the cutout tabs, these are laminated. Her products are coming along beautifully. She obviously puts a lot of time and thought into them. But this is gorgeous, Ashley. Thank you for sending this to me, and I'm wishing you all the best with your 2021 planner sales. Tis the season, guys. Let's start, let's start planning things. Like, even if we can't plan things with people, let's use our planners. I'm, I haven't been in my planner. I've been, like... <laughs> Ironically, too busy to plan anything. But um, let's use our planners. I'm gonna open some cards too. Cause this is just fun. What a beautiful card. Look at this one. Gorgeous, it's looking at my face, not the card. This is from Austin. Oh, she said she's gotten 
three of her best friends to subscribe over the years and their group chat is loving Vlogmas. Thank you, Austin, what a sweet note. Oh, this looks like a handmade card. Yes, handmade by Renee. And this is Renee. How beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, thank you, Chris and Renee. It's beautiful sentiments. Just this one. She's been watching for eight years. Thank you, Amber. This one I've been very excited to open. It's got stickers. And it's from somebody named Cece. Spelled C-I-C-I. -I. <gasps> she included stickers. Koala bear. Lisa Frank. Do you guys remember Lisa Frank? I didn't know they still had Lisa Frank. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Lots of stickers. Well, we'll put those to good use. We love stickers in this house. Oh, these are nice. There's this poem. I always wonder why birds stay in the same place when they can fly anywhere on the earth. And I ask myself the same question. Thank you, Cece. This is so sweet. And I appreciate the stickers. Like I said, we will definitely put those to good use. What a sweet note. Thank you guys so much for sending your cards. It's so, so very kind of you. And thanks for watching along this holiday season. I want to settle into the rest of my day with my kids and just enjoy them. Uh, so I'm going to sign off here. I'm going to eat this Sour Patch Kid. No, finish your video first. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are all well and um, take very good care. Bye.